Next, I have for you an awesome guy. This is Mike McGrath. Now, he is the founder and CEO of River City Inclusive Gymnastics. How are you? I'm great, Kat. Uh, thanks for having me back on. I appreciate your time. Well, I appreciate everything you do. Please let everybody know what River City Inclusive Gymnastics is and what it's all about, how it got started. Yeah, sure. Um, we are a, a, a nonprofit in the area, and we specialize in group exercise, fitness, and gymnastics classes specifically designed for individuals with disabilities. Uh, we have classes for individuals as young as five all the way up through adulthood. And if you think about um, Ninja Warrior type stuff, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing, just little Aww. obstacle courses to get everybody moving and grooving and help people be social that often – don't have the opportunities to do so. How fun. How did you get the idea or what made you think to start this? Well, <clears throat> so my background is special education and I've taught, you know, in the classroom for a very long time. And when I stopped, I needed something to do. And the owners of the gym where I am now, I knew through a family friend and they had said, you know, we'd always wanted to do something like this, you know, a class for individuals with, with disabilities, but we don't know how to do it. And I said, right. Oh, I know how to do that. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, I didn't really know how to do it, but <laughs> I figured it was possible. Right. So I did a whole bunch of research on the internet and observed a lot of their classes. And then we just started with, um, actually we started with my nephew and three, three kids that I used to teach. I call it our pilot class just to see if we could pull it off. And right. After we did it, I asked the parents what they thought, and they were like, keep going, and we've just grown from there. So oh, wow. a class, one class of four to now we serve over, um, we serve currently 90, around 90 athletes a week, and we have 108 waiting on the waiting list. Wow. Congratulations. That is amazing. Now, I understand that you've got some big news to share. I do. Thanks, Kat. Yes. Yeah, so... So those that are on the waiting list won't have to wait much longer because we recently achieved one of our goals as an organization and that we've signed a lease so that we can move to our own facility that can be nothing but River City Inclusive Gymnastics all day, every day. Um, we can serve so many more people and more families. Um, and our, loc our new location will be, um, by March 1st, will be in the Tuckahoe Village Shopping Center on Patterson and Lauderdale. Over in, and we're going to be situated in between Hope Thrift and Pleasant Hardware. So we're very oh excited. Gosh, congratulations. And it hasn't Thank been you. all that long. You guys have done this really pretty quickly. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's been, a, it's been a whirlwind of a year because last year uh, you were nice enough to have me on. And that's when we had started with the idea that we're ready to move. But, you know, we... We're doing our first fundraiser to achieve that goal, and yeah. we made it happen. You know, the community and our families and supporters made it happen. You know, I just tried to stay out of the way, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, support them as they helped us raise the money. It's been great, but like I said, it has, has been quite the whirlwind, but yeah. it's been a fun ride, a fun year. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so excited. Now, before we get too far into this, what is uh, the way that families would get a hold of you or, or anybody listening? Or, I mean, do you have a website we can go yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the, the easiest thing to do is just go to the website, and it's rcig.org. Uh -huh. So rcig.org. That's our website, and you can contact us through that. There's a contact us um form at the top and it goes directly to my email and I'll email you or call you um, right away. That's the easiest thing to do. So just go to rcig.org to find out more information about the program. Now, are your instructors and teachers, do you have a lot of volunteers? Yes, we do. So we have a few, um, we have, we have several paid staff members, but we also rely on volunteers as well. Mm -hmm. We have a, a good amount of um, high school and college students that volunteer, some parents that volunteer. Um, you have to be, we ask that you're 13 before you volunteer. And we, we know what we do isn't for everyone. So right. if you're interested, we just ask that you come and check us out, uh -huh. you know, and no, no pressure because we know it's not for everybody. But sure. for those that are interested in volunteering, there's a volunteer form on the website 
rcig.org that you can go to and fill that out. And we also have links to like our, our YouTube and Facebook and Instagram on there. So you can kind of see exactly what it is, what this program's all about. It's easy for me to tell people because I'm in it every day, but for sure. someone who doesn't know, you know, pictures and videos are always helpful. This is so exciting and it's all ages, right? Yes, and, and the exciting thing is that, <clears throat> yeah, so we have, we try to pair everyone, group them according to um, age group, and the way we do it is we call it like elementary, so, you know, 5 to 10 or 4 to 11-ish, mm-hmm. and then teens and adults. And then once we move to the new facility, we'll be, be able to have a dedicated preschool class, which we're not able to do now. Yeah. And the reason we're not able to do that right now is because what we've noticed is that the preschool age, twos and threes, they don't. Um, they have a little bit of a harder time separating from their parents. Right. And so the way the preschool class will work it will be like a parent and child class. Where the parent is their coach, but one of us, one of our staff or volunteers, is with them as well, just to just to get everyone comfortable. So we're excited to um, be able to offer that to families as well. Oh my gosh, I am just so excited. This is amazing. Now, one way that you were able last year to raise money was with a raffle. Are you going to be doing that again? Yes, actually, uh, thank you for bringing that up. That, that Actually, the raffle is going on right now. Okay. And all the money raised through our current raffle goes to the build-out of the new space. <sighs> and what that means is we need new equipment. We have to put in bathrooms. We have to put in some walls. So all the proceeds from our raffle go to that. And then um, if anyone is interested in buying raffle tickets, you can do that on the website. You know, you just go to rcig.org slash raffle, mm-hmm. rcig.org slash raffle, and you can um, buy tickets. You know, we have, um, we're getting close. We have, our goal is to sell 5,000 tickets, and we have we have a couple weeks left in the raffle, and we're getting, we're getting close to achieve our, our goal. So I, I appreciate you letting me... <sighs> Let me talk about that. And as well, um, we've had some great support, a lot of um, few local businesses that have helped us, you know, pull this raffle off. It was, you know, bigger and better than it was last year when I yeah. talked to you this time. And if you don't mind, I'd really like to give a shout out and a thank you to Marco's Pizza, um, oh, Mosaic, Pediatric, Mosaic Pediatric Therapy, and United Bank, formerly of Essex. They, they helped put up some of the money to sponsor the raffle so that we didn't incur any costs. You know, as wow. a nonprofit, you're always trying to find ways to maximize your dollars to stretch them, and, and they were very generous to us. Certainly. Oh, those are wonderful companies. I love them. Marco's Pizza is involved with so many good things. I just think they are amazing. Yeah, they've, they've been so nice to us and, and just generous. You know, we started a relationship with Marco's last year, and they've been... um just very generous through the whole year. You know, it hasn't been like a one-time thing. And we, we, you know, we look forward to, you know, building a relationship as well with, with mosaic therapy, as well as, um, United bank. They were, you know, we're, we're new to them and they're new to us, but they were, they jumped on board right away. So it's been great. Now. So somebody wins the raffle. What did they win? Oh, so this year, so like I said, it's bigger and better than last year when I talked to you. So yeah. this year we have 10 prizes. The grand prize is um, a $2,000 cash prize. Wow. Um, second place is $500. And then it goes down from there. There's 10 chances to win. But the biggest two is wow. $2,000 followed by $500. There's several very nice local Richmond restaurants um, like Hondo Steakhouse. There's a $200 gift card to Hondo's. I believe there's a there's a two hundred dollar gift card to the melting pot, and mm. it just it goes from there. You know, Marcos donated a pizza party for fifteen. Oh yeah, so lo- yeah, exactly. <laughs> lots of lots of great prizes, but also lots of opportunities to win. You know, so the more the more you play, the more chances you have to win. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! And all and just to know why you're you're doing this that you're helping out and you're helping to grow everything, and it's going to come alive in March. I mean, that, that's not long. I'm just like, I cannot believe that all this has happened this quick. No, it's very, it's very exciting. I can't believe it either. I'm just kind of holding on for the ride and, um, you know, trying to, trying to steer the ship in the, in, um, in the right direction. I have a good support team yes. with me, you know, um, 
Jocelyn Ingram, our COO, keeps me on this on the straight path, and our board helps direct me. And you know, Nancy, our director of um, development and community engagement, is helping helping to direct the ships. And I'm just kind of following along and and trying to deliver quality service and get as many people, you know, and you know, through your work with nonprofits, there's just not a large opportunity for individuals with disabilities. Right. Um, and we're just trying to provide another opportunity, whether it's us or someone else. We just want people to know, hey, if you want to be social and get some exercise in, you know, come see us. We'll we'll hang out with you and, and provide a social network for you. You know what? And I think that is so important because I've seen these young people just have a blast together. The smiles are huge. The exercise is obviously important. And then to see the parents and caregivers, they're just so happy and so proud because, you know what, their kids are getting to be kids, you know? Exactly right. And, you know, one of the things we we want to do and we tell the parents is we want to give them a break you know yeah. you're you're off duty for an hour it, it doesn't always work that way right but, right but as as much as it can we want we you know we want to take your kids for an hour we ask that the parents stay on site but you know go relax we've had parents take naps before we've had parents you know meeting other parents and becoming you know friends that otherwise they don't travel in the same circles because their kids live in different counties but it's sure. been it's been nice to offer that as like a side a side note, you know, that if the parents need a time to relax, like I said, it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes we, we rely on their help and their guidance, but we would like to offer that as part of the part of the program. Well, that is such a great support system. And I know there's a lot that goes into it. It's not, you know, it's easy for me to say, okay, you just show up and we're going to do this and that. I mean, when you're dealing with kids that have sensory issues or autism mm-hmm. and sometimes lights and sounds. So I know that you have to cater and you have to do everything around the individuals. And to be able to do that and put together a class, you are surrounded by a lot of people who know what they're doing and you do too. And you listen to what they're saying. It's obvious. Any any great business succeeds, nonprofit or otherwise, if its leader listens to the best of the best. You know, so that's what you've done. So I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kat. Yes, you know, um, and you're right. You have so we keep our classes small, and we we rely very heavily on the parents. You know, they they tell us whether it's a good day or bad day, or try this or try that. You know, I we we need that. You know, in yeah. order. For, for us to be successful and their child, young or old, to be successful, we need their input. You know, and we, the way the program works is that everybody that needs a one-on-one assistant gets it. That's why our, our classes are small and we have the waiting list, but I also think that that helps us cater to each individual need, whether they need more challenges, less mm-hmm. challenges, more breaks, less breaks, a shorter class, a longer class, you know. We, and, you know, we, we list, try our best to listen to the, each individual athlete by what they're telling us, whether with words or actions, you know, whether they need a break. And, you know, it's not about, you know, the class is an hour, but I always tell our coaches and volunteers, like, it, not everybody can make it an hour. An hour is a long time. Yeah. So let's, let's listen to each person and, and, try and try and get them to be successful, whether that's 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or 60 minutes. Everybody can be successful. Well, how has uh, COVID affected your classes? Well, at, in the beginning, it affected them terribly because yeah. we were, you know, like everyone else, we we couldn't do anything for a long time. Right. But that also gave us a chance to get creative, and we started doing some classes online. And oh. believe it or not, we still have an online class. Do you? you know, so it's a thirty-minute, you know, online workout workout session. But and so that that um, hampered that, and then mm-hmm. once the phase three rolled around, and you could start doing some things, um, it, you know, of course it, it it hurt, you know, the bottom line and the checkbook and all that. But you know, everything we were fortunate to weather the storm. Yes. Um, you know, we, we were very very fortunate that as a business we didn't have any debt. Mm-hmm. Um, starting off just because I didn't know any better, maybe. Right, right. Um, so that that helped us. You know, had we had a lot of in, a debt or a ton of employees, it, w- it wouldn't have been good. But, no. but we, we made it, you know, and, and we bounced back. Um, and a lot of our families, you know, are, are um, you know, a lot of our families that were with us since the beginning, 
that haven't been able to come back because of COVID are starting to reach out. So that's super exciting for us because we miss everybody. You know, yeah. we want everyone to to come and hang out with us and have some fun. Well, and I encourage people to take advantage of the raffle. And if there's individuals or businesses who want to make a donation, it's a good way to do something like that. Um, Christmas time, I got to tell you, one of the best things ever is to get, you know, a card that somebody said I made a donation in your name, too. And that's a good idea, too. So I encourage people to think about that. You mentioned Nancy. I just will say Nancy Neatman. She's a rock star, isn't she? (laughs) Yeah, she's great. So she, uh, she, you know, w- we knew as a nonprofit, you know, you, you have to have multiple streams of, of revenue, yeah, especially donations. And my expertise is in the gym, yeah, you know, helping helping individuals with disabilities, you know, exercise, move their bodies, and accommodate, you know, um, and just making a, those accommodations. My area of expertise isn't, you know, networking to to raise raise funds and and that's where Nancy has been very integral in, in helping us to do that and it's yeah. and it you know and that's why we're here we're able to have signed that lease because of some of her connections and her um her energy yeah. you know bringing that to the table so it's it's been great and um yeah you mentioned you know the raffle if it, you know we have two weeks left you know if anyone's interested just go to the website rcig.org and you know, donations are tax deductible as well. So I appreciate you mentioning that. All right. Well, fantastic, Mike. And I'm just so excited. I can't wait for next year. Please come back and uh, update us once you get close to opening the new location. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. You got to, you, you'll have to come and check it out once. I want to close. Definitely. I'll, I'll take a time, class. Pat. I'll take a class. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Come hang out. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Yep. You too. Merry Christmas to you. Take-